From Bark here. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Gator Machete Jr. Uh, this little guy right here is uh, overall length of 18 and uh, 3 quarters inches. The blade's 11.25 inches. And the reason I got this is because I already have the larger Gator. And it's just a little here bit too Here are the two long. Gerber Machetes side by side. Uh, I've been using this guy for a while and I've been abusing the crap out of it. It works pretty good. Uh, the biggest downside I have for it is it's so long if you want to wear it on your belt it's just you know slaps on your leg it's just way too long I'm hoping that this smaller one won't be so inconvenient and I could keep it on my belt or it would be handy to put the knife back in the sheath so I'm gonna go ahead and strap her on and and see if uh, see if it works better another problem I have with this big one is when I get up into the thicker uh, areas or uh, I got a lot of dense trees here if you're trying to swing uh, you can catch this on stuff it's just a little harder to wield in that area. I'm hoping the smaller one will help me knock branches out of the way without uh, banging the tip on stuff and catching. And the other thing is, uh, this with this longer uh, machete, uh, if I'm not watching what I'm doing, it's real easy for me to smack myself with these with this razor edge on the back here. So I'm hoping I will be less of a danger to myself with the shorter sword there. Someone got a gun for Christmas. So I thought for the rest of this video I might rock the orange. Anyhow, I've worn this guy all day long. Uh, I really like it on the hip. It, you don't notice it at all. It's very lightweight. Probably weighs about a pound. Uh, the sheath is nothing to write home about. It doesn't really slide out of there very good. I don't know if it's because of these or just the sheath in general. It does have a tactical rubber handle. This is working out really good for me. I wore it all day cutting trees and uh, didn't hang up on anything. And it was a little difficult to pull out is probably maybe the way I had it on me. Uh, but basically, uh, this worked really good in a tight space for what I was using it for. You don't get quite the power out of a swing that I get with the much longer machete. Uh, if you're using it for like clearing grass and brush and stuff like that the longer blade works out really good I used that quite a bit in uh, uh, clearing out blackberry branches and tall grass and stuff like that so they both have their uses the blade just didn't seem quite as sharp coming out of the box as the uh, last one I got I mean it was uh, if you're one of those people that are fussy about that you're probably gonna want to touch it up right away if you want it razor sharp which shouldn't be really hard to do on something like this although once you start beating it on sticks it's pretty much uh, gonna get bungered up anyway one thing I didn't really care for is the lanyard on here you're supposed to loop it over the I think I did that backward in here you're supposed to loop it over here this and it makes a handle like that um, I just don't really care for that. I just want a lanyard that's long enough to go over my wrist so it doesn't go winging out of my hand into someone else. Good bang for the buck, so uh, Fernbark gives it a thumbs up. I pretty much personally don't have any use for this uh, serrated edge on the back for sawing a limb, but I'm going to do it one time for the video. And uh, there's a real decent chance I might just grind those down so I stop pitting myself with them. But anyhow.
And now you know why I don't want to use this. Oh, forget it.